What happens if you take the People Playground that we all know and love and you turn it into 3D? I don't know. Let's find out. People Playground. It's a great game. And apparently it's had an update. People Playground 1.23. Get a whole bunch of stuff like a new map and a new belt and resizable housing and trees and bushes and high grass and the whole nine yards. So I was like, okay, cool. I want to check out the new People Playground update. It'll be sick. I can't wait. I'm looking through the changes and I'm like, okay, let's go to the mods. Let's go to the workshop and find some cool stuff to test the updates with. And then I found this. People Playground 3D. This was only released like a handful of days ago. I don't know if anyone's even talked about it yet. So clearly I subscribed. Hey you, did you know that only 25% of you are actually subscribed to my channel? What are you guys doing? Hit that subscribe button. Join us. Become part of the 25% and um, now we're gonna check it out. I don't know, maybe it's great, maybe it's bad. I mean, come on, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Make sure the mod is turned on, hit the play button, and we have four new maps. Default, humongous, sour, and tiny. How about we just go with the, the default map? This is an experimental mod, meaning you will encounter bugs. Everything is subject to change. Okay. This is not people playground. Hold on, put headphones on. Hold on, ready, ready, ready. Okay, it sounds like people playground, but I'm in a 3D space. So can I summon things into the 3D world like people playground? Oh, human, I'll summon them in. Oh, <laughs> hi, look at you. It's a 3D model huh? of a people playground person. Can I like, oh, I can still move him too, just like in people playground. Well, this is people playground. You know what I mean? And I'm just gonna put this arm up into the sky and then take your leg. G give me the leg, give me this leg. Do the splits. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, let's just clear everything that never happened. <laughs> never happened. This is a 3D people playground. Also, yeah, we have a bat, we have a bunch of weapons. Like I think official people playground needs to become 3D. This is just sick. Let's do some tests. Let's grab our lovely human, put him in the, the field. Hi, hi, how are you? Nice to see you, looking great. And uh, give me a gun. Give me the dissembler. Ooh. I can grab it and use it and move it. Can I like hold it in my hands? What if I click on it? Oh, ho, 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 I got a gun. People playground just got amazing guys. I'm sorry, Phil. Your time is up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it takes his body parts and disassembles them. It's called a disassembler. Kind of makes sense. That's a lot of blood. Let me just uh, summon in something to clean that up with. Let me get a, a, a chair. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna put in a table. Fantastic. I'm putting on another chair. Nope. Can I pick up the chair and move the chair nope. around? I want to put the nope. chair. Never thought I would take this long struggling with a simple chair. All I want to do is put the chair in place. Okay. Okay. I'm making progress. No. Seriously, this is the hardest game I have ever played in my entire life. That's it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Physics gun? No. No. Is this like, it's like Gmod? I freeze it in place. Oh, dude. I'm going to make a jump map. I'm going to make a jump map. I'm going to make a jump map. Can I jump on that gun? Can I fit? Excuse me. Come here. Stay right there. Can I jump on this? Okay. Can I jump on the gun? <gasps> I can make a jump map in this game. <laughs> this is sick. Clear everything. Be gone. All right. We're going to summon a whole boatload of humans. It's time for some scientific experiments. I mean, it is people playgrounds. Kind of what this game is for. <laughs> meant to mess people up. Over here on your right, you have a boatload of humans ready to be tested. And over here on your left, you have a boatload of guns ready to be tested with. Let me just grab the uh, M16. Oh, look at that. It gives me a bit of a teardown vibe with the way it's built. And we're just gonna come up here and test it on this. Yeah, this is fine. I'm gonna get demonetized on YouTube. It's gonna happen. Give me the revolver. No revolver shot right in the face. Oh, you can see the bones beneath his flesh. Oh, God. What are you? I feel like you're going to fire a lot of bullets really quickly. Game is disgusting. What are you? A Tommy gun. Yeah, Tommy gun. Definitely not nearly as accurate as other. What? I'm going to paint the town red. Remember that game? It's a great game. We've already seen the disassembler, so this thing can just go bye bye. I, I said, boop. I'm gonna say, why can't I pick this up? Get out of here! Nope. That was terrible. How about this gun? Beautiful. Is this a shotgun? Oh! Oh! AK-47 pistol, a sniper rifle. Do I get a scope? Can I scope? Can I fire all the way from... Oh, 
Okay, hold on. All the way to the back of the room. Back of the room. Back of the room. Back of the room. Nice. You can create a save. So you could create a jump map and save it. Give me my physics gun. Oh, clicky. And no, just to start, we're going to do it with crates. Okay, we're going we're gonna to start the jump map with crates. There. Okay. And then I'm going to put another one. Zoom it in, zoom it in, zoom it in. Just, just super simple. Keep it simple for now. I want to make sure that my, my theory works in practice. Look, Ooh. I put it back up there. Growing. There. Let's see. Jump on this one. Nice. Nice. I can make the craziest jump map known to mankind. Okay, you, you get the basic gist of it. Take a look at this. Let me go. I'm just trying to do the craziest, hardest jump map. Okay, that, that's true. I saw the hardest. I just wanted to test a theory. And I hope, I hope that someday, some, Ooh. how? I'm hoping somebody creates a 3D people playground and lets us do fun things like this in people playground with the amazing mod. Could you imagine if like the Siren Head or, or, or Spider-Man or Saitama in a 3D space like this? That would be insane. Could you share the jump map in the workshop with this mod as a requirement? Okay, maybe I'm having a little bit too fun or too much fun making a jump map but i'm hoping i can save it in the workshop and give it to you guys hope like seriously this is gonna no no Bruh. that second chair if i could put this in the workshop i think you guys will enjoy jumping along it <laughs> except for that post that sucks the awkward part is i need to like get back to the end of my jump map to keep making my jump map yep yep having far too much fun designing this this is insane can i make that jump <laughs> Nope. Bro, oh, that's a downfall to designing your own map. Can I make that jump? Come on, no! I mean, I could add another little green dot in between, but I want this to work. I want to actually have a couple hard jumps in the jump path. You know what I mean? Oh, the jump is possible. Hey, let's go. I'm keeping it in there. Good luck. This may have taken longer than I expected to, to build, to design, to make. Why is there a wheel on the ground that's fine this bill doesn't belong here you can just just go away over here you can go hide in the corner little wheel nobody needs you nobody needs to worry about you actually the disassembler gun will do a good job of disassembling that thing but this is my jump map it's all the way over there where the there's a body huh? it's true to part you start over here on this block this is the start point yay and then you have to make your way all the way around you have the posts you've got balls you've got falls you go from the post to the sphere to the orangey green orbs to some guns to some blocks to a wall to a watermelon to this long pole up the long pole and now the challenge begins you've got little green blocks including this jump from this block all the way to this table that's a hard jump then you've got some wheels little tricksy then you've got some axes also a little tricksy some guns to the wall and then you've got some tables on edges and things like that go across the tables on the edges then you must ascend watermelon falls along the walls and then the final stretch the most difficult are these candles tiny little pinpoints in the sky to make the final death defying leap to the table of happiness and joy that is the um the thing that i've created here in 3d uh, people playground <laughs> didn't expect that when i started the video but that's what we've done i'm gonna save this I'm going to try and put it up on the workshop. I'll call it Crow's Playground. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the links on the screen. Watch more awesome content, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.